My name is Holloway. I recently came down to the city from the mountains to work part-time. I missed working during the day and being surrounded by people, so I decided to start this job at 70 years old. Ayane, do you know how to do this bit? Oh, well, you can do this, and then move this here. There you go. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so sorry for always having to ask for help. Please don't apologize, Mrs. Hottaway. If you have any questions, please just feel free to ask any one of us. We'd be glad to help. And besides, you've taught us a lot about life too, so it's even. Oh, and the snack you made for us the other day? Everyone loved it. My daughter said that she wanted more. Oh, that's great news. Well then, sounds like I have to bring some more then. Thank you so much, Mrs. Hottaway. Could I please have some too? Mrs. Hottaway, I want some too! <laughs> sure thing, Himari. I'll make sure to bring some for you too. Oh yeah, by the way, you said that your daughter Sumamo had a cold, right? I made some ginger tea for her, so could you bring it back home with you today? It should help her with her fever. Oh my god, thank you so much, Mrs. Hottaway! You're a lifesaver! And your ginger tea is always so effective. All of my co-workers are kind and decent people. Even though I've been living in the woods most of my life and have no experience working in an office, they all treat me with respect and are willing to help me learn. I'm surrounded by the best co-workers I could ever ask for. Man, I'm so lucky to be able to work here. When I first started working here, I thought they were gonna be more mean to me, but from day one, they treated me kindly and with respect. And I can't thank them enough for welcoming me with open arms. I wish I could give back to them in some way. But one day... Good morning, Mrs. Hardaway. Oh, hey, Ayane. How's it going? Good. Did you hear the news? We're getting a new employee today. Isn't it exciting? Oh, I didn't know that. Apparently, he went to TU for college. That's one of the smartest schools in the country, right? I bet he's really smart and competent. Yeah, that would be great now, wouldn't it? Hey everyone, the new employee's here, so can we all gather for a minute so I can introduce him to you guys? Speak of the devil, I guess. My name is Light Dekisuki. I'm gonna be working here from today, and I bet you all know this by now, but I graduated from TU, and that means that I'm really smart. So I'm gonna turn this company into the largest firm in the country, so y'all better buckle up. Whoa. Man, I wasn't expecting him to be like this. He's a bit intense, isn't he? <laughs> but I'm glad he's motivated. I'm excited to see what he can do for this company. And a few weeks later... Alright, I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna work extra hard and grow this company until it's the biggest company in the world. Well, looks like he's finally gotten used to things around here. Um, Light, can I talk to you for a second? Uh, yes, Miss Ayame, what can I do for you? Um, this file, you didn't make it using the format I told you to use, right? Yeah, but I formatted it like that because it's gonna be way easier to see it that way. I arranged it myself. If we're gonna become the largest firm in the nation, we gotta start changing things around here aggressively. You understand that, right? Um, but this is a tax document that we need to file with the state. We have to format it in a certain way or they won't accept the document. So could you start over and use the format I sent you the other day? Huh? What are you talking about, Miss Ayane? My formatting is way easier to understand and see. It's just better. I don't think that we'll be able to grow as a company if we keep on clinging onto the status quo like that. But if you're so adamant on doing things the right way, then you should fix it yourself. But, but Light! Oh, he has earphones on now. Oh, wow. Man, so he's doing it again, huh? He's always like that. He does everything in his own way and never listens to others. I appreciate his passion and aggressiveness, but sometimes he ends up changing things that he shouldn't be touching. That's why we have to go through extra steps to fix his work, and he's always so proud of his work that he's never willing to fix things himself. Man, that does sound like a lot to deal with. Let me talk to him about it. Excuse me, Light, could I talk to you? Huh? What now? I don't have time to be talking to a part-time worker like you. Every minute, every second is very valuable to me. I'm trying to grow this company exponentially after all. Well, could you just spare a few minutes for me? Fine, I'll give you three minutes. Use it wisely. Now, make it quick, please. Alright, thank you. I'll keep it short, so don't worry. I actually wanted to talk to you about a concept called Shuhari. Have you heard of it before? Huh? Who exactly do you think I am? I went to TU for college. Of course, I know what Shuhari is. 
It's a Japanese martial arts concept which describes the stages of learning to mastery. It teaches people to respect their elders and have courtesy. But, uh, why are you bring this up with me? Well, I'm impressed. You really are a smart kid, aren't you? But the reason I bring this up is because I think the concept of shuhari is really important when you're working with others. First, you have to make sure to follow others' instructions. And then when you master that, you can move on to making your own changes to the traditional way of doing things. Light, I think you should try following your co-workers' directions first, and then moving on to changing how you do things. You're a very smart kid, and maybe that's a bit underwhelming and disappointing for you. But I think this could be a great learning experience for you. So what do you say? Could you maybe try to do things our way for a bit? <sighs> so you're a part-time worker lecturing me on how to do my job? I can't believe you're doing this to me. It's just a complete waste of my precious time. N no, I wasn't trying to lecture you. I was just... I don't care. You need to leave right now. Sh sure. I'm very sorry I made you feel that way. Maybe I should have made myself a bit more clearer. And so Light never ended up changing his ways and kept on doing things in his own style. And eventually, this happened. Hey, Light, what the hell is this? This is ridiculous. This is nothing like what the client asked for. Huh? But I don't see a problem with it. It's like a better product than what the client even asked us for. So I think that it's a win-win for both of us. Well, there's a huge problem. Our client's all mad at us now because we didn't do our job as instructed. <sighs> then you should cut ties with that client. They don't even know what they're talking about then. And I'll tell my boss to rethink our relationship with our clients. We don't want to deal with ridiculous clients like them, right? Oh, what the hell is he thinking? I can't believe he would do this. He's pissing me off so much! Man, he's been getting worse lately, hasn't he? Yeah. Oh shoot, this is probably my fault. I should have never given him any unwanted advice. I really dropped the ball this time. I have to fix this or else things around here are gonna get more messy. I have to do something. Phew, I'm so tired. I guess I can take a short break, huh? Light. Uh, it's you again, huh? Didn't I tell you to leave me alone? I don't want you bugging me again. It's annoying. I'm really sorry about the other day. What? I never give you any unwanted advice again. I made a mistake and I'm here to fix it. So could you please rethink the way you do things around here for my sake? <laughs> well, what the hell are you talking about? You actually thought that you were the reason I was doing things my own way? Wait, is it not? Of course not! Don't be so overly self-conscious! This is how I do things, okay? I would never let someone affect me the way I do work. After all, we're not on the same level as human beings, but uh, that's why it bothers me so much that you even work here. You shouldn't even be working at the same company I do. And this is affecting the quality of my work immensely, I guess. And if you quit your job and never show your face around here again, Maybe then I'll be able to listen to what some of the co-workers have to say about how I work. So, what's it gonna be, Granny? I see, so all I have to do is disappear, right? If I disappear... If you disappear, I'll try listening to others more. And I'll quit my job right away. Uh, wait, are you serious? Uh, yeah, that'd be amazing! Well, we've only known each other for a short while, but I'm glad we were able to work together. And so on that day, I decided to quit my job. It was a very difficult decision for me, but if the company was going to benefit from me quitting, then I don't really have a choice, do I? To tell you the truth, I don't really want to quit, but this is the only way that I can contribute to the company at this point. Mrs. Hardaway, we've been looking for you! What's going on? People are saying you're gonna quit the company? Tell me it's not true. I don't want you to quit! Please stay. Himari's right! I don't want you to go away either! <laughs> well, all I want to say is thank you. Thank you for all of your support, guys. I had a lot of fun working here because of you guys. Now take care of yourselves, alright? Hey, wait! Mrs. Hardaway! Don't go! Mrs. Hardaway! <sighs> it pains me to leave, but this is the right thing to do. It was a pleasure working with you guys, Ayane and Himari. I guess I should go back into the woods and live out the rest of my life. The next morning, I have to get to work. I'm about to be late. Oh, oh shoot, I forgot that I quit my job already. 
maybe I'll go bear hunting today. But wait, my spider senses are tingling. There are animals around me right now. Wait, I'm surrounded. Shoot, I can't take them all on at once. There's too many of them. But maybe this is a good way to end things. I've done everything I wanted to do in life already, and getting hunted down by animals may not be a bad way to go out. All right, you suckers, do your worst. Wait, what? All right, now that lousy grandma's gone, and so there's one less person in this office that can bother me. Looks like I can finally focus on getting my work now. <laughs> Time to get things done now. Uh, hey, lights, I need to talk to you right now. Huh? Is something wrong, sir? You need to go find Miss Hathaway and apologize to her right now. Huh? Uh, who the hell is Hathaway, though? She was one of our part-time employees. Oh, you talking about that granny? I heard that you were the reason she quit. When I arrived at work, I found a resignation letter written by her name on my desk, and I could not believe my eyes when I first saw it. But why is it such a big deal? She's just a part-time employee. I don't understand why you gotta be so dramatic about this. Well, just look around you and you'll see why. Huh? Uh, what do you mean, look around me? Uh, wait, what the heck? Hold on, why is no one here? Work just started like 30 minutes ago. This is ridiculous. Do they think that they can get away with skipping work? How are they supposed to grow this company if none of us are even willing to show up to work? They're all gone because of you. They all want to go and find Miss Hathaway. What? They're all in the woods now looking for Miss Hathaway and they're trying to bring her back here in with them. Uh, hold on, why would they do something like that though? Well, that's because Miss Hathaway was one of the most caring employees and she was always supporting her co-workers and looking out for them. We were able to focus on our jobs because Miss Hathaway was able to be there to alleviate our stress. And ever since she moved into our company, our sales numbers have been improving every month. What? Most importantly, everyone loves to work with Miss Hathaway, and so I'm gonna go and find her and persuade her to reconsider her resignation. Whoa, whoa, sir, I'd come back. Ah, oh, damn it. What the hell is happening right now? Miss Hathaway, you have to come back with us! Yeah, and if you're not gonna come back, then I'm gonna start living in the woods with you! Yeah, me too! Oh, don't be ridiculous, guys. You guys have to go back to work. It's a weekday today, and by the looks of it, every single one of our employees are here and not at work. Miss Hathaway, please, I beg you! Sir! Hey, you bastards! What the hell are you all doing here, huh? You're supposed to be at work right now. We don't have time to deal with this loser right now. We're trying to grow our company into the largest firm in the country, remember? We can't do that if none of you show up to work. What the hell are you talking about? You know what? All right, if you're all gonna be like that, then you better choose between this granny and me right now. And if you're all gonna choose her over me, then who I am gonna quit this company. Now raise your hand if you prefer to have this granny at the office over me. Huh? Yeah, no one. That's what I thought. Uh, uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. What the hell? Hold on. Why is every single one of you raising your hands, huh? Hold on. How are you gonna grow the company without me? This granny is not gonna help you guys become industry leaders, you know? No one cares about your stupid goals! We don't really want to be industry leaders anyway. Working with Mrs. Hathaway is way more important than that. And besides, we want to make you quit. And if we get to keep Mrs. Hathaway and make you quit, that's a win-win for us! What? But why? I went to TU and I'm smarter than any of you guys! Well, maybe you should try thinking of the answers yourself with that huge brain of yours. Ah, oh, damn it! Oh shoot, where's he going now? That's the wrong well, too late. So will you come back with us, Mrs. Hathaway? Are you sure that I can come back? Of course, we're all dying to welcome you back. It would be our pleasure. Well then, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, guys. <laughs> Wait, where the hell am I? I'm completely lost. Ah, oh, dang it, a bear could pop out of nowhere around here. Uh, wait, oh, whoa, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it's a freaking bear, no way. Uh, please don't eat me, okay, please, I don't taste good. Leave me alone, dang it. Oh, get away from me, go away, no, help me, no. Mommy, mommy, mommy. Mommy. Show! Go away, you beast! Phew, that was a close one, wasn't it? <laughs> You're that granny from before! I didn't ask you to help me, damn it! Then should I just leave you here? 
no, you have to show me the way home. Oh, by the way, I got all that on video. You were crying and calling for your mommy, weren't you? I even saw you pissing yourself. Away! I could post this up on social media if I wanted to, but... What? Hold on. You have social media? Yeah, believe it or not, I do. I can't believe that, but most importantly, please don't do that. I'll do anything, so please, if you post that video on social media, I will not be able to go outside anymore. Then you need to apologize to all of your co-workers and promise that you're going to start following their instructions. Uh, but... Well, if you're not going to promise, then I'm just gonna have to post the video. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. I'll, I'll do as you say. I'll apologize to them, so please just don't post the video. <laughs> and the next day... I'm very sorry about everything I've done and said, guys. I promise that I'll be less stubborn from now on, so just please forgive me. And if possible, please let me keep on working here. Whoa, did he actually shave his head? And he's actually apologizing to us. I can't believe this is actually happening. Shut the video. Uh, damn it. All right, everyone, let's get back to work. And from that day on, Light started listening to others, and now he's grown into one of the company's best salesmen. He's always been a smart kid, so he's full of potential. It's just that his personality often gets in the way of his success. But I thought that it would be a waste for us to just leave him out in the woods to starve. So I decided to fix him up and make him a big contributor to our company. You have to be behind this, right? What are you talking about, Ayane? We're talking about light! You changed him, and he always listens to what you have to say. Yeah, what did you do to him? Well, that's a secret. At least until Light does something stupid again. Oh, you have to tell us, though. We're dying to know. Yeah, come on, Mrs. Hottaway, tell us! But more importantly, I brought snacks back from home. Do you guys want some? Yes, I'd love some, actually! Yes, I want some, too! Thank you! Hey, Himari, I'm going away for a business trip, but you better leave some for me, too. Uh, sure, but why are you telling me this? Because you eat the most out of everyone here. You know what? I'm not gonna leave any for you just because you said that. Hey! Would you like some as well, Light? Why would I ever want to share a snack with... Hey, everyone, listen up. I actually have a funny video that I've been meaning to. Whoa, uh, stop, okay, I'll, I'll eat the damn snacks with you guys, all right? I was hungry anyway, so uh, please share some with me. Man, she definitely knows something about him that we don't. Yeah, that has to be it. All right, everyone, enjoy. Looks like Light hasn't learned his lesson completely yet. I've got to take him out into the woods again and remind him who's boss. But man, my other co-workers are a blast to be around. I hope I can keep working with them as long as I can.